In global news, in a desperate attempt to save its economy, the United States has merged its government and currency with Europe, replacing the dollar with the euro. As part of the joining, leader of the new nation, General Heydrich Yugov, has requested that all citizens of the single currency nation receive a new microchip credit card embedded in their right hands as a symbol of the new nation's authority. The size of a grain of rice, these chips will help reduce identity theft and credit card fraud. This is PV191. In pursuit. You got a runner. I need some backup. What do we got here? Eat and run. Uh, you should have taken the chip, kid. Think I should dose him before we take him in? Nah, I think we should keep this one from running again. Yeah. Congratulations, kid. You just resisted arrest. Let him go. Who does this guy think he is? Who cares? Spray him. Way ahead of you. Are you okay? Yeah, thanks. Why were they after you? You were stealing? Too many places are chip only now. Besides, what's it to you? You should have come to us. We could help you. Who's us? <sighs> Wait, I know you. You're from the Leap Crew, aren't you? You shouldn't steal. You put us all at risk. I could have gotten away without your help. You don't need my help? You think you could have gotten away from them? Try keeping up with me. <laughs> Michael? Hey man, what's up? Are you serious? <sighs> Look, for 2,000 years, the Christians have been in control. The time has come for a change. I disagree, Senator. I think the world needs religious unity. And what's that going to solve? Nothing. President Yukov's stance on the matter is dead on. There is no God. It's only us. Wrong or right, you're missing the point. If there is no God, who decides what's right or wrong? Where do our morals come from? Easy. We decide. I'm telling you that won't work. The people need a religion. And as a representative of Vatican City, I'm prepared to suggest one. There you have it, two sides of the same coin. With Vienna News, I'm Kimberly Cruz signing off. Yeah. Yeah, no. I don't like either idea. Sure, we'll talk about it at a college group tonight. Sierra, I know. I'm sorry. Tina and Michael are gone. I'm not letting the same happen to you. No! I'm not street preaching again! The crew. We're done. I'm gonna lay low for a while. You should too. In 2012, President Yugov assumed complete control of the globe. People followed him willingly, but we knew who he was. The Beast of Prophecy, a man called the Antichrist. One of his first acts of power was to do away with faith. Without the moral backing faith provides, things went from bad to worse. After 
my friend was shot and killed, the rest of us went into hiding. We had no identity, lived off the grid. I soon found myself rescuing others. I taught them to fly, and we became a family. Anyone home? Smells good. What's on the menu? Rice and apples. Courtney, could you give me a hand with this? Oh, yeah. What's up? Want to grab some plates and forks for me? wants to pray. I'll do it. Lord God, we just want to thank you for the food you provided and for bringing family back together. Just bless this food, the nourishment of our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Anything interesting happen while you're out today? Ran into another tresor. Not from any of our communities. Isn't that like the third one this month? This one stole some food and had union cops chasing after him. You didn't. I didn't have a choice. They were going to kill the kid. Is it just me, or is there more tracers every week? I don't think there's more, so much as they're becoming more known. They're about freedom, so they don't get chipped. Yeah, and with more and more stores adopting chip-only policies, they've resorted to stealing. I don't like it. They're drawing too much attention to us. It's not like we can do anything. The world already hates Christians. You know, speaking of that, I heard something interesting today. What's that? There's a rumor going around that YouGov is giving Vatican City complete control. Of what? Everything. Right, like the Antichrist is going to give up his power. I'm just telling you what I heard. We'll talk to Olia about it tomorrow. See if she's heard anything. Hey guys. How are you? Been good. Business has been slow though. Not surprising considering how bad things have gotten. At least we still shop here. What's up the radio? Oh, that? That's been going on since yesterday. Every station? Each one. Same thing. Why not just turn the thing off? As slow as it's been, background noise, kinda nice. Hey, Peter. What's up? Oh, hey, what's up, man? What's new? Ah, uh, you know, just helping out my sister. Right on. What have you heard about this surrendering power to the Vatican deal? I'm as surprised as you are. I didn't think Yugov would give in so easily. He's the Antichrist. What kind of a game is he playing? What if we were wrong? Wrong about what? What if he's not the Antichrist? How could he not be? Nice music you got there. I was just telling the others that it's been doing that since yesterday. Well, why don't you change the station? I tried. It's the same thing on each one. Huh. So, will that be cash or chip? Kidding! Lighten up! No, nothing. If you hear anything else on YouGov, leave me a message at drop point two. I'll see what I can do. You guys come back and see me! Will do. Got a message from Olia. What's it say? Give me a second to crack it. While you're doing that, listen to this. Same thing, every station, just like Olia said. Can you figure out what it's saying? I don't know, it almost sounds like Hebrew or something. Forget that for a second. You guys have to see this. What? 
The Vatican is instituting a universal faith? This universal religion is based on what is right for the human race and not on ancient writings. Meaning... Meaning that the scriptures are no longer being taught. The Bible is out. Why would the Vatican do this? Vatican City signed the new religion into effect today. They're accepting of everyone. They're even allowing gays and women to preach to the congregations. No wonder they passed this. The whole world will follow them. But it goes against scripture. Something's not right. But why would a religious power toss away the Bible? Maybe they never used it to begin with. What's with you? Was up late. Didn't get much sleep. Doing what? I was doing some reading. Here we go again. Okay, I'll bite. About what? The Antichrist. What if we were wrong? Check this out. I was making some notes about what the Bible really says about the Antichrist. There's a spirit of the Antichrist and a beast. But there is no THE Antichrist. Look at this. Paul says the spirit of the Antichrist was around in his day. How'd you come up with this? I saw in Daniel that a beast in prophecy was a nation, not a man. So the beast is a country? That's what the Bible says. A small country that blasphemes God. So where are you going with this? I think the Bible might be talking about the Vatican. <laughs> Seriously, the Vatican is the smallest nation in the world. The beast comes out of the sea. Water represents many peoples. It blasphemes God. Look here. John and Matthew say that forgiving sins or claiming to be God is blasphemy. But how does the Vatican claim to be God? Vicarious Philly Day. What's that? One of the titles Mr. Pope has gone by. It means Vicar of the Son of God, or in place of the Son of God. You add up the name in Roman numerals, it adds up to six, six, six. I don't believe it. But what about changing times and laws? The Vatican admits it changed worship from Saturday to Sunday but in remembrance of Christ's resurrection. The reason doesn't matter. All that matters is that they made the change and the world went along with it. And the world wondered after the beast. That's where we are now. Everyone's ooing and aahing over the peace they think Vatican City is bringing. But couldn't these facts apply to anyone? Individually, yes. But as a whole, they can only point towards the Vatican. But why would the entire Christian community think the beast is a single man? Satan likes to work through deception. What better way to get the world to believe a lie? I'm still not sold. Have you read about the woman who rides the beast in Revelation? The mother of harlots? The Bible says that a woman in prophecy represents a church. So, there is a church that is in control of the beast country. A mother church. I can only think of one that claims to be the mother of all other churches. And it just so happens to be in control of a country. You know, as crazy as it sounds, it kind of makes sense. Where are you going? I need to tell Olia we were wrong. She'll tell the others. It's back so soon? Are you alone? We need to talk. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do Guys, all thy work. Guys, are you hearing this? But the seventh is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. What? In it thou shalt not Courtney. do any work. For in six days the Lord mm. made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the seventh day, and hallowed it. 
Are you positive about this? I've never been more sure. All right. I'll pass it on. Six days may work be done, but in the seventh is the Sabbath of rest, holy to the Lord. Whosoever doeth any work in the Sabbath day, he shall surely be put to death. Haha, funny. Then what just happened? I don't know. But until we do, don't tell anyone about this. Leaving already? We have to get to the bottom of this. Oh, and if I were you, I'd close up this weekend. Say hi to Peter for me. Funny. It's scripture. We know. How? We don't know. One minute, it was Hebrew, and the next minute, we could all understand. Us too. Any idea who's behind this? None. Then we need to figure out the rest of the broadcasts. <clears throat> Why? Whoever's doing this may know more than we do about the beast. Because the broadcast started the same time the Vatican received global power, right? Here's what I don't get. The message we heard referred to the Sabbath day. Ours too. So I guess the real question is, what does the Sabbath have to do with the Antichrist? Maybe it's more important than we thought. Perfect. I want some tech teams here within the hour to get things set up. Sir! Kid? Yes, sir? Don't screw this up. Sir. Any luck? And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Do the girls know? I don't think so. Call them and get them back here. Something big's about to happen. How do you know? Just do it. we Will do. Just uh, check this out really quickly. At the suggestion of the former United States, the Vatican officially passed a new law mandating that all citizens of the world government must attend Mass. In light of the recent calamities on our cities, Bob Matthew says that the decline of morality has brought God's wrath upon us. In an attempt to save us all from total destruction, the Pope believes that universal attendance to church will show the Lord that there is still good left in mankind. As a compliance incentive, the Vatican intends to use the chip implants released two years ago as the now only acceptable form of currency. Churches from all denominations worldwide are being fitted with sensors that will automatically add funds to the person's implant upon entering a sanctioned church on Sundays. Failure to comply with the new laws is punishable by imprisonment or even death. Get them back here now. As you know, we are the Pacific Northwest branch of the Congregation of Defense of Faith. Mr. West has been placed in charge of all operations. Mr. West? All right. This is for real. Security at the Vatican have picked up non-sanctioned radio broadcasts, and they want us to find out who's in charge. Bring up the audio. Sounds like an ancient dialect. I want to know what the language is, what it's saying, and where it's from. Let's work this, people. So, what do we know? They just passed forced worship into law. What does it mean? It means this isn't right. Worship should never be forced. And why is this being tied to the chip? What if the chip isn't the mark? At least not all of it. What if there's more to it? What do you mean? Most passages that talk about the mark also talk about worship. Is it possible, knowing that the Vatican is the beast, that by going along with the new law we'd be following the beast? but plenty of good Christians worship on Sunday. But is that when God told us to worship and not work? He told us Saturday. But shouldn't we worship God every day? Well, yeah. But the issue is most Christians think the Sabbath was changed. It wasn't. That came about from the Vatican. From man. 
My point is, that since man's already accepted that it's okay, what better way for Satan to deceive the world? It'd be easy. And if the church says one thing and the Bible says another, which do we go with? Okay, so back to the chip. How does it all fit together? And does it match the prophecies? Well, we know who the beast is, and we know that no one can buy or sell unless they receive the mark. And with this forced worship using the chips as leverage... Get this. The media just announced that chips are now required to buy goods. If those who already have a chip don't walk into a sanctioned church on Sunday, the chip becomes deactivated and they can't buy or sell. Seems like it fits. So, what do we do then? And who's behind the broadcasts? And what about Olia? We'll talk to her tomorrow. Let's get some sleep, guys. It makes sense. What are you gonna do? Shut down, I guess. Nothing much else to do. Are your parents gonna be okay with that? They were taken a year ago. Some conspiracy about smuggling weapons or something. It's my store now. I'm sorry. It's okay, you know. I mean, I knew I had to close up one day. Just didn't think it'd be so soon. Hey. If you need a place to stay... I'll be fine. I still own the store. Just can't sell anything. Are you sure that's smart? I mean, we know what happens next. I'm not running scared. How are you guys gonna deal? We don't know yet. No one knows where we live. But we're off the grid. It's times like this where we have to trust God. You guys ever think about preaching again? We've talked about it. Why? With the world being deceived, don't they need to know the truth? Besides, you guys are probably the only ones that could get away with it. I know how you feel about this. But this is important. Would you tape it for us and upload it to the web? Sure, I can do it. My phone can't be traced. Okay, we do it tomorrow. Anything yet? Sir, I got it. Broadcasts are Bible scripture. And he caused it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive the mark in their right hand, or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Any idea who's behind it? Not yet, sir. Get on it. Somebody get me the Vatican. Vatican, sir. Sir, somebody's hacking to our network. How old is this? It's live, sir. Trace it. It's blocked, sir. Whoever did this knew what they were doing. Unblock it. You're smart. Figure it out. Yes, sir. Look at you all! You blindly follow an organization you know nothing about! You say that you're free! I tell you you are slaves! Think for yourselves! Read your Bibles before they're taken from you! You follow the beast and you don't even know it. Who's this beast? Vatican City. Okay. Who are these people? Find them. That would mean now. That went better than I thought it would. It's always a good day when you don't end up in jail. What are you doing? Remember, you've got five minutes before they can pinpoint you. Think for yourselves! Read your Bibles before they're taken from you! You follow the beast and you don't even know it. Looks good. So what now? We pray that people see it. Kill it. Ugh. Got it. What's this? The location of the phone. What phone? Sir, it's a phone. That's why we couldn't track it. The video was passed through a phone. Once I broke its encryption, I was able to triangulate its position. That's nice. Why don't you get back to that broadcast? Yes, sir.
You'd better have some good news. We found him. I'm on my way. <sighs> what do we got? They're operating out of the United States. Where? Pacific Northwest, Washington. Give our out the green light. Sir? The Vatican wants these heretics out of the equation. They're responsible for these broadcasts. We have no proof. Don't argue. Just do it. Yes, sir. Just do it. Kid, next time I give you an order, you need to follow it without hesitation. Look, West, there's no proof. The Vatican wants this clean. We're taking a big risk here. The huge risk is if we fail to perform the job the Vatican paid us to do. Next time I give an order, you follow it. Is that clear? Yes, sir. I'm glad they didn't catch you. Us too. Did you hear the good news? What news? Over 20,000 hits on that video. Already? Yeah, and the best part is that there's three more videos on there as well. What do you mean? Some of the other communities have decided to speak out too. Nice. Oh, we have something for you. Here, it's not much, but it should help your reserves last longer. Thanks. How did you... We still have connections. We really appreciate it. You guys be careful, all right? God bless. You too. Sorry, we're closed. Can I help you? I'm looking for them. Do you know think them? Think for yourselves! Read your Bibles before they're taken from you! No, I don't think so. Really? Because I just saw them leave. Oh. That's them? They look so much different in real life. Yes, they do. Huh. What's going on? What do you think you're doing this, sweetheart? Who is it? Girls, go home. James, let's go. Huh. Guess it said help. Who are you? I will not be the last one to come after you! 
Why are you after us? Because you're the ones that are behind the broadcast. Who do you work for? <laughs> Who do you work for? The congregation for the defense of the faith! What do we do? We leave them. We can't be seen around the bodies. Let's go. Sir. Yes? Op 1 hasn't checked in yet. And the terrorists? We don't know. Then we consider them alive until we know otherwise. Sir, we've got other problems. How so? They're not the only ones anymore. What? The terrorists? There's others speaking out now, too. Take them out. Take them all out. Yes, sir. What do you think is going on? I don't know. Did you see the look on Shane's face? Shane, what happened? She's dead. Who? By who? I don't know. Some organization. The Congregating the Defense of Faith or something like that. What's that? Some hit squad spiring. Doesn't matter. Are you serious? They sent an agent after us. But he found her first. They know who we are. He won't be the last. Why are they after us? They think we're the ones behind the broadcasts. We have to find whoever it is before the Vatican does. How do we compete with them? We have the advantage. They think it's us, so they'll try to find us. We know it's someone else. James, do you think you can triangulate the broadcast? I can try. So, who do we trust now? Everyone we meet could be the enemy. We can still trust God. What's your malfunction, soldier? I send you to take out a terrorist ring and you come back with a damn broken arm. Tell me you at least eliminated them. I'm John West. This is my associate, Mr. Kidd. What do you guys want with me? We need your help. Have you ever wanted to do something great with your life? What are you talking about? Do you believe in God? No. Why not? Because I don't like the idea that someone else is in control of my life. God gives us free will. Sometimes we are called to serve, as you are now. I'm not being called to serve by anyone. You're out of your mind. Oh, really? Hey, what are you doing? Let go of my arm! I got it. What was that? What did he just do to me? You'll see. It would appear that you are not chipped. You do realize we could kill you right now. 
Should we offer him a deal? Why not? Here's our offer. You take our chip, help us take down a group of heretics, and we'll let you live. And if I refuse? Your life ends right here, right now. But why me? Because you're a tracer, and the people we're after are just like you. What did they do? Decisions first, information later. Time's up. What's it going to be? Okay, I'll do it. Mm-hmm. Sure beats the alternative. It better. There's something I don't get. What's that? Just because someone follows a Catholic church, that doesn't make him a bad person, right? Right. If this organization, or whatever, truly believes they're doing God's work, then why are they okay with killing us? I don't know. These things have I spoken unto you, that ye shall not be offended. They shall put you out of the synagogues. Yea, the time cometh, that whosoever killeth you would think that he doeth God's service. And these things will they do unto you, because they have not known the Father, nor me. That's really starting to creep me out. Did you get it? This can't be right. What? The signal's coming from the mountains. Which ones? The peak outside our city. What? That's what it says. Are you sure you're reading that right? I think so. Let's put the radio stuff aside for the moment. We need to figure out where we're going to get food. How much do we have in storage? Enough for six months. We need something else. We're not sure how long this tribulation's going to last. We don't know any other shop owners. We're screwed. We could dumpster dive. Ew, gross. We could set up a farm somewhere. Do we really want to run and hide, though? We have to trust God. He hasn't failed us yet. Hello? Under the marina. You'll find instructions there. Yes. This is Luke Shepard. Put me through to West. One moment, please. West. I didn't sign up for this. I take it you got my package. You have to get someone else. He saved my life. I don't care if he saved your mother. You're doing God's work now, kid. If you go AWOL on us, we'll send every operative we've got after you. Do you understand? Luke? I'm here. Do you understand? Understood. Good. We think we know some of the routes they take. Grab a pen.
You again, huh? Who's this? <clears throat> this is the kid I was telling you about. I'm not a kid. I'm 19. What's your name? Luke. What can we do for you, Luke? You guys are Christians, right? Look, I've been thinking a lot about what you said. And you're right. Stealing is wrong. Can you help me? Give us a minute. Something's not right. What are you talking about? I... I don't know. I'm just getting a funny feeling about this. The kid needs our help. We could share the truth. I still don't think we should. Let's go! Where did the police come from? Get them out of there. What's wrong? Hey guys! Come on, let's go! Help me get him up. Wait. Hold on. How did you do that? We'll figure it out later. Let's go. Where are we going? Someplace safe. What was that all about? I don't know. I just felt like I had to do it. Thanks, by the way. Can I get you anything? Water? Bread? Just water. Ladies? I got it. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Have a seat. Let me see your knee. See? It's fine. How did she do that? You got me. It's the first time she's done that. Look, I'll get right to the point. You don't look hungry, so it's not food. Your hands have calluses, so you've obviously been training. The question is, what do you want from us? I want to know the truth. How do you know what you believe is true? I once heard a story about a kid who asked the same question you just did. He asked his pastor while walking through the park one day, how do I find the truth amongst all these lies? In reply, his pastor took his head and shoved it under water in a nearby fountain. The kid struggled and tried to get away, but the pastor held him there until he was out of breath. Finally, when the kid was about to drown, the pastor pulled him back up. The kid took a deep breath and looked at the pastor and said, why did you do that, pastor? He told the kid, The moment you want the truth, as badly as you just now wanted air, you'll find it. We can show you the truth, but you have to want it. Show me. We're in! Excellent. Bring up the feed. Done. So, you guys are saying that the Vatican City is the beast from Revelation? We're saying that the Vatican is the only thing that can be the beast from Revelation. But what about the verse that says the Antichrist will sit in the temple of God? Doesn't that mean Solomon's temple has to be rebuilt? Fair question, but no. The temple isn't a building, it's the body of Christ, the church, people. The spirit of the Antichrist will come from within the Christian church and take over, which is exactly what the Vatican has done. Are we recording this? We are now. Come on, people, we've got one chance to take them down. Let's get this right. I want Luke's chip on that screen. Ten minutes ago. But everyone else says the temple is a building. They're wrong. Every time that Paul uses the word temple, he's talking about the people that make up the church. Why would his meaning change suddenly for one verse? But what about Mormonism, Hitler, and all that other New Age garbage? Like we said, there's the spirit of the Antichrist and the beast. I've no doubt that those ideas were controlled by the spirit, but they're not the beast's power. And you really expect me to believe this? If you're looking for the truth, this is what you'll find. Don't take our word for it. Pray about it. You'll see. Why is it so important to you guys? I mean, does it really matter? I mean, come on. Once Judgment Day comes, you either go to heaven or hell, right? So, 
Who cares who the beast is? You don't get it. The beast will cause Christians and non-Christians alike to literally lose their souls. That's why we're fighting. That's why we care. Look at it like this. If the atheists are right, then what does it matter anyway? But what if they're wrong and we're right? Can you really take that chance? You don't have to answer now. Get some sleep. We'll talk about this in the morning. You can take the couch. You all right? Yeah, I just can't sleep as all. Join the club. Do we have their location yet? Not yet. Luke's signal appears to be blocked. We'll get through it. Can't, sir. Something's disrupting the signal. I'm on it. Good. We can't let them slip through. So, how do you guys plan on spreading the truth? We're planning another sermon flight. What's that? Preach to the crowd till the cops show up. Then we run. The sermons are recorded, then broadcast to the web. You do this often? That's why the CDF is after us. We could use a videographer. Up to the challenge? Why me? Why not get whoever did this before? An op got to her. She was killed. Look kid, there's no middle ground. Not anymore. You're either in or you're out. I'm not gonna lie, there's a good chance of getting killed. It's your call. I'm in. There's a big event in the park on Friday. There's gonna be lots of people. You know that means tighter security. How's your PK coming along? Eh. We've got three days to get you ready. Let's go. This kid. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, wait. I tried to get him to slow down. I, I know it wasn't supposed to be put online. Yes, sir. I've done everything I can to keep it under wraps. It's just not the way he operates. He's one of those kind of guys that just gets things done. What do you want me to do? Fine. Fine. If he goes too far, I'll take care of it. Fine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. You don't actually run up the wall, you jump up the wall. You just have to find the sweet spot on your foot. What's that? You see that? Yeah. That's the sweet spot. Okay, that's cool and all, but how do I get up the thing? Come here, try this. Put your arm up the wall, as high as you can reach. There. You see that? You've got maybe two feet left. Now put your foot up on the wall. You see? There's your two feet. Now all you have to do is step up the wall. Hit the sweet spot and step up. There you have it. Good job.
Put me through the West. Sir, it's Luke. Speaker. This is West. Friday. Their next event is Friday. Riverfront Park. We'll have ops in place. Do they trust you? Of course. Good. Your deeds won't go unnoticed. You'll be... taken care of. Thanks. And by the way, the price has just gone up. I want 30000 We got what we need. Do it. Sir, get it done. Sir, it's Luke again. Speaker. What the hell is going on? I'm sorry, I don't understand. We had a deal. Why are you trying to kill me? Oh, I'm sorry. I assure you that no one here... Oh, wait a second. I just got some info. Uh, one of our ops got some bad intel. Someone will be punished. I assure you. Ugh! Not bad for a kid. Smart, yet gullible. He may still be useful. He's not coming. We don't know that. What happened to you? They blew up my apartment. What? I have nowhere to go. You can stay with us. Really? Of course you can stay. We can figure it out later. We've got more important things to do. Alright guys, let's do this. People! Listen up! We have a message for you! Listen to us! You've all been chipped, and you're forced to go to sanctioned churches, correct? Our message to you is simple. God cannot be forced on anyone. You have to choose to love God. And you who are going along with this chipped garbage are going against God, not with Him. The Vatican is the beast of revelation. By going along with the scheme, you are following the devil. And when Judgment Day comes, you will be destroyed. Read your Bible, put your faith in Christ, and turn away from the beast! It's them! Want to live? Follow me.
Let's go. Just got word from the op. Leader's in custody. And the others? No word yet. You are safe now. Who are you? I was sent to safely guide you home. What? You are a few of the only people willing to spread the truth. Our father is pleased with you and will continue to provide for your needs. The time of great trouble has begun. The beast is now in power. But our lord comes quickly. Continue to seek and share the truth. The fate of many lies with you. Sir, up to his last then. I don't believe this. Our ops are supposed to be the best. They are the best. Then how on earth did we lose them? Enlighten me. Vatican. This is West. I... Yes. I... I understand. Everything okay? We got one more shot to get this right or we're out of a job. God help us. How'd they know already? They didn't. They saw this. I thought that kid wasn't going to upload it. Uh, I didn't think so either. Track his chip, send off two after him, bring him in. We need to have a talk. Make that happen. wrong with you? I wasn't stealing anything. Cut it out! <laughs> Push like a girl. Hey, babe. Crystal? Nowhere to go. Don't even think about it. You don't look very happy to see me. Still direct, I see. Look, Shane. I didn't kill her. Tina's dead. I didn't do it. It was my partner. You expect me to believe that? It's the truth. Your version of it. There are no versions of the truth. I'm different now. Two years on a street can change a girl. Do you see any chips? So what? In their eyes, I'm no different than you. I'm sorry for what happened. Why can't you believe me? So, what can we expect from these guys? Oh, they'll probably hold a gun to your head and ask you to renounce God or something. That shouldn't phase you, should it? What just happened? I don't know, but we have to go. How do we get out of here? I have to find my crew. Can you still trace? I can hold my own. What do you think happened? Maybe they were caught. 
Not Shane. It's impossible. Let's pray that God brings them home safely. <clears throat> What's going on? What's your malfunction, son? What are you talking about? The Vatican is the beast of revelation. Where did you get this? My Online. Well, how did it get there? I was hoping you could tell me. Wait, wait, you think I put this on there? You got a better lead? Oh, I get it. They've sucked you into their little cult, haven't they? No! Oh, it's alright. They've brainwashed you. You're against us now. I swear! You've got one shot, kid. Where's the apartment? Lakeview and Forth. The corner of Lakeview and Forth. Thank you. Handy little thing. Would you like to know about how I came across this weapon? It was an interrogation not unlike this one. From someone not unlike myself. Sometimes in this world you just need to reach out and take what's yours. Clean this up. Sir. Been busy, have we? What happened? I was captured. Where's Luke? He's one of them. I told you I didn't feel right about that kid. Who's this? Oh, right. Guys, this is Crystal. Crystal, James, Courtney, Teresa. Wait, you're Crystal? As in Shane's ex? I see you've heard of me. Just your reputation. She says she didn't do it. I believe her. Are you chipped? No. Look guys, I'm hungry. We can eat first and play 20 questions later. How did this happen? Maybe we underestimated them. Doesn't matter, we know where they live. Lakeview and Forth. Bring it up. The kid talked? Almost too much. Where is he? In a much quieter place. You killed him, didn't you? Does it matter? What if he lied? He didn't. How do you know? I saw it in his eyes. The Vatican is not going to like this. Screw the Vatican. Sir, bring it up the location right now. All right. We've got one last shot at this, people. I want both an ops unit and a squad team in place stat. So according to you guys, Vatican City is this beast, and somebody's in the mountains broadcasting cryptic messages. You know you're crazy, right? Maybe. Maybe not. And you think you saw an angel? What would it take to convince you? Nothing short of a miracle, babe. Teresa. May I see your ankle? Your ankle. Shane told me what happened. Okay. for a miracle. God gave it to you. That's not possible. Anything is possible with God. You got your miracle. What now? I don't know. God set up a law for us to follow. The Ten Commandments. When we break that law, we sin against God. And sin is punishable by death. I know you guys aren't perfect. Why are you so at peace? Because God sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to die for us. Because he loves us. Because he loves you. All you have to do is accept and believe. It's like Teresa said, you just have to have faith in him.
there. Find them. Find them. Sweatshirts. Copy that, squad leader. Wrap it up. Return to base. Who died and put you in charge? You. Anyone else have a problem? See that? You kids lost? No. We're headed to the peak. Well, it's nice to meet you. We don't get much company up here. Name's Wolf. Wolf? <laughs> Nickname. Nice to meet you. I'm Shane. This is my crew. You guys on the run or something? Or something. Fair enough. It's right ahead of the peak. We've been picking up some broadcasts and they've been coming from the peak. We think whoever's doing it might be able to help us. <laughs> We've been living out here for over a year. There's nobody up here but us. And you're not behind this. <laughs> Sorry. That doesn't make any sense. I've been there myself. There's no tower up there. <laughs> 